Terrence gonna be moving on in winner's bracket again. This is the LCQ for the Washington DC team. You see the chair breaking it up, baits out the EX spinning bird, and knocks it down. And that was one of the things that it makes Terrence such a good tournament player, right? One block spinning bird kick doesn't mean anything to him. He'll do it again. Oh, yeah. And as long as you can keep that, that is important because it's going to keep the mix-up on his Oki uh, alive. And as long as you can get someone to flinch once or twice in a tournament setting, in a two out of three setting, that could be the difference between a win and a loss. Absolutely. Terrence, very hard player to condition. You can see that uh, wake up spinning bird costs him the first game, and then it ends up winning him the set. Exactly. That is, you know, that is it right there. So well done from Terrence. Gonna be moving on. Oh, is that, is that, is that guy's coming back? I don't know, man. I mean, I feel like they just wanted to show more of football. Yeah, I'm down. Yes, that's fine. Come on, always. Oh, but wait a minute. Oh, let's go. Do you know it's a good match? Ooh, Ooh he's going up. Do you guys understand that <laughs> Do you a understand? player is coming up on deck? I'm Do you understand? On I hey. Tough ways against majority of the roster. No, no, you're right. But the thing is that, yeah, right? So. Right. See right here. Really trying to just rush him down. And Mono really backing up in the corner and then saying, guys, taking that real state for himself. Yeah, I thought Mono did a good job of uh, playing defense oh, against the Kuma. Oh, that was, that was, that was so this? sick. Why did he call That was so it? sick. Oh, my goodness. I thought the cross-ups were over. The air I thought we got rid of that in four. Five put himself in that situation. That wasn't his fault. That was not Akuma's fault. fault. That was not Akuma's fault. <laughs> that, was oh, not that wasn't Akuma's fault? For once, it actually right. wasn't Akuma's fault. That was just his privilege. Like, no. Yeah, that's... All right, all right. Let's see how it is. It was We're waiting to break off from the rest of the country. You stomped too hard. Uh, that's the, just that's gonna go kind of, investigate. That's the kind of stuff we can expect at Red Bull Conquest. Let's take a look at this replay. Splash just all over it. Again, three chips? That's illegal. Three. That's illegal. I'm glad you guys clipped that. <laughs> we have evidence now. And then the follow-up, yes, sir. How many times did that last situation B-trigger pump clutch for Cammy? I feel like every time Cammy's on the board, honestly. But in this, yeah. this specific scenario, it's come in clutch so many times. You see here, every single victory that Splash has had was in V-Trigger. Yeah, and, and that's what I was saying. A lot of the people, when they have two V-Trigger bars uh, on their character, they think that they have the ability to spend one on a V-Reversal or something like that. And then People, it's a, little too early. It's, a little, it's a little early still, so it's okay. I see you clean with the plugins, and then I like how you say, yeah, Los Angeles, <laughs> number one. You gotta get the top earlier in the. <laughs> we saw him earlier. In the I didn't see that damn thing. What are you talking about? We did. Against the Rocky. He didn't play out too well, but he's doing pretty well for himself. He you know, nailed himself a 2 0 victory over Thrasher. And again, that double low forward, checking her from walking back, clearing the skies as well. With the double flash. I really like the defense, specifically right there, right? Because he uh, took the throw and he went for the regular throw because he only had a little bit of life left. So if he jumped out, he could have got the green two becoming the Denver qualifier. Hopefully, we could see him blast off again. Ken versus. I actually goals. can't believe that. 24 hours, dog. I was in. Bro. That's okay. Well, have it's you never fun. at home about this at all yet? Uh, well, yeah. Okay, okay. Steve, right, I think, right. uh, introduced me with, with, with the, with the 20 <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah, no. Nah. I saw you support me, though. Of course. In, in Instagram. I saw you in Instagram oh. live. But yeah, look at that beautiful punish day on the throw with the back strong on the deck. I'm not like you should have went for more throws, man. I think that was the only thing that kind of, like, not necessarily cost them, but pretty much left some damage out on the table. Yeah, definitely respecting those brain traps, those meetings on wake up. Those were on point. Now you're absolutely right. Shad didn't really get many opportunities to get the throws in, and if he does, Neon actually tech properly. So I guess he was just a little reluctant to do so. And once Neon gets started, you see it's all okay. downhill from here. He's sledding down the ice and yes. same side. So we are narrowing down top 16 to top eight. You were correct. That was lower bracket side. So it looks like Neon is going to face Rob TV in lower bracket round two. Okay. We're going to have our last lower bracket round one match against the cool kid. 9-3 versus Toy. And I just want to remind Ooh. you guys on stage, somebody is going home. Just remember that. <laughs> yeah, Who's all in the is line. going to be the hungriest? Who's going to survive? Ooh. Red Bull Conquest. See Stop, Neon, I see you. Okay, okay. Ooh. That was to make it all the way back here. Just a couple of errors. Like, again, I can't believe he actually missed that combo to actually seal the deal against uh, Cool Kid in that first round. Definitely would have had momentum on his side, but, you know, the simple things happen, man. Simple, the simple things.
happening. All right, I believe we are going to get a quick interview for young cool kid up next, of course. We are in a lower bracket round two of Street Fighter V action yeah. now here. Thank you all for joining us on twitch.tv slash Red Bull Esports. Oh, that was a big command grab in the corner. Had the set up here, V reversal. Oh yeah, and then the clean jump out. He survived. This was the spectacle down. of the match right here. The stare down, and you thought I was gonna command grab. Two for flinching. Ooh. Oh. That was respect. That's the respectful hand, the right hand. Yeah. That that right there is what pretty much sealed oh. the deal for Toy Man. The momentum was shot right after that. Uh. You can tell just in that instant, just to let that rock, right? The charge rock. Oh, oh you so hate hard. to see that. That's oh. the first time I've seen the player replay expression. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. And Cool Can't Kid able to close oh. it out here. And let's get a word with Cool Kid and Persia up next. Oh, no, no. oh that's Nephew. I'm sorry. That's oh, so boy. disrespectful. Oh, boy. <laughs> nephew looked over here. He's like, oh, are you boy. serious? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Nephew, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so I sorry. I was so confused. Yo, it looked like the full second. It did from the side. He was gone Thanks now. We'll, we'll talk Thanks about it. Early. We'll talk about it in a minute after this replay. You see nephew really put in the work. The ice was trying to save the day, and you got caught reaching. I feel like the reason Princess Love even threw that away is the fact that she just wasn't committed in taking the throw. Trying to match back dash, try to hold up and put him put up in a lot of uh, uh, sticky situations. So that's why I feel like it was the game changer for sure going up against nephew. And nephew definitely took full blown advantage. Every chance he got, he finished the job. Without a doubt, though, Princess Slim did have uh, plenty of moments to shine, though, just like this one right here. But just fell a little bit short because look at that massive life lead that nephew had. It was such a tough hill to climb. Oh, Jojo, Jojo, you're gonna see some Mika versus potentially Guile, as it should be. That is Chris China's champion Neon versus Nashville's champion Rob TV. Now, for those of you that don't know and didn't get to, to keep up, you know. Rob TV actually uh, a couple of things to notice, but let's take a look at this replay first. We got Neon versus Rob TV, but Rob TV really trying to put it down. That huge life deficit, but right through it, right through that V-Skill. Ooh, rock bottom, yeah. And look at this, Neon was just all over Rob TV, right? After this knockdown, it was just Shimmy City. Look at that. Oh, you are a permanent resident. And the shimmy's on. Beautiful stuff. But yeah, I feel like Rob TV, man, in those situations, he should have just checked him. Damn, he was letting him go, go too much with those forward dashes and back dashes. And the gold dancing in the lights around Knuckle Dude's neck. I like that. Oh, they dancing? Oh, we got fan. gold? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They dancing in the they lights. Dancing? I see. It. Okay, I see you. All right, so look. So I asked him that question if they high tech, right? Obviously, Guile, it's not. So much he still got out of downtown. Let's take a look at the replay as to how it all went down. I love it. Man, the, the fact that Knuckle Dude picked Cammy, I mean, in the back of my mind, that, 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 that just says a story, right? Uh, mm -hmm. What happened in those online sets? Yeah. <laughs> man, I would figure he would pick Guile. Maybe it's just Cold Kid is just that much comfortable in the matchup. It seems like it, man. From the way he talked about it before, it seems like the only guy that can actually give him a challenge is Knuckle Dude. And who knows how much of a challenge that is anymore for him. Yeah, I mean, you heard Cool Kid. He said, after playing Knuckle Dude for so long, other Guiles aren't nothing when it comes to the tournament scene, especially Street Fighter 5. I mean, Guiles only in Street Fighter 5. What am I talking about? <laughs> Yo, don't put Guile in any other games, please. Yo, I'm okay real. with that. I'm but, okay with him sticking to one. But the name of the game is the V Trick. I mean, granted, that is the, the hard part of the meta just to have the 211, the robbery. Yeah, right? I was going to say. Robbery on progress. But you know what? The, the way that Cool Kid sets him up to actually dish out that big damage, definitely calculated. I might be stretching a little bit. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool Kid takes it. Now we're going to an interview. What's up?